I've been trying to charge the golf cart. It is a club cart, golf cart. And that's all that's happening. And the charger is good. I connected it to our other golf cart and it is fine. So what you need to do, um, disconnect, this worked one time. Let me get on this side better. Okay, so this worked one time for me. Let's see if it works again. You need to get a standard car charger. And these batteries are down. I mean, they are completely dead. Let me put this down for a second. Hold on. Let me turn on my meter. And you can, this is 48 volt system, 8 volts of battery, but if you see here, we've got look at that, completely dead. So what you need to do is, come on, what you need to do is disconnect them, get them out of series. So these are looped together. So eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight and so on. So you need to disconnect them so they're not bridged together and charge them individually all right, so I've got the charger hooked up. And the reason I'm doing this with the car charger and not the factory charger, the factory charger just flashes. A little yellow top light flashes caution. And it will not charge these batteries. It will not wake them up. So I'm trying to wake them up. These are 8-volt batteries. And that charges at around 14 volts sometimes. So I'm connecting two of them together so I cannot overcharge one battery. So right now this one and this one are connected together. So let's see what I've got, what my voltage is going from technically one battery but physically two batteries. So let me put that here. Um, and there. There we go, 15 volts. So it's charging at 15 volts. So you split it in half. That should be more than enough and not too much to charge these two batteries. Once these are, I'm gonna leave it there maybe half an hour. Then I'm gonna connect these two batteries and then those two batteries. Just give them a little bit of charge and then we will uh, reconnect the factory charger because right now the factory charger so I charged up two of the batteries for about 20 minutes now look at what the meter reads there's positive here goes the negative uh, that's negative here goes the positive so I'm doing that one right there and that one over there 10 volts okay so i've got all the all the uh, batteries hooked up in series now so here is the negative i don't know how i can probe in the back of that and positive over here and there we go, 27 volts, that's something. Okay, so let me take this out, turn that off, and we're gonna plug the factory charger back in. Let me put some power to the wall. And before, 
So it's getting just a fast caution light on the charger. So there's the blue, there's the green. The top green one was just flashing. It's flashing the uh, yellow. Where are you? Here you are. Okay. Let's see now if we are going to be able to charge. Okay, and I'm in tow. I don't know if that matters, but I'm going to try run also. There you go. Now it's charging. Awesome. Wow, wow, wow. That worked. All right, out of curiosity, let me see what the what the uh, current charging voltage is. I don't know if it'll read like this. Yeah. There you go, it's charging. What can I? All right. So that's it. 55 volts. Waking up the, uh, ah, damn, happy. All right. So the charging time that I put it will not charge the charger, the car charger. I tried a different style charger also. This car charger will not charge one battery. You have to connect two batteries together. So I did it in pairs, separate this loop. So now you only have from here to here. You got two batteries taking this one out. And I took this one out also. But you've got technically one battery, one battery, one battery. And give them 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I did it at 30 amps. Uh, this is 2, 10, and 30. Just for a few minutes. And make sure your water levels are correct. And that's it. This over here should still be flashing. 